Hello YouTube, good day to you and welcome back. If this is your first time here, just welcome. This is a 2011 Lexus RX 350 Mini SUV. Customer states, uh, battery light turned on. It died while driving and now it will not start. And I agree, it will not start. I bet it has no electrons. Um, mm, okay, jump boxes also serve as temporary hood props. Okay, let's see, negative. There we go, that one's negatory. Zzz. Beep, warning, low voltage. Begin starting sequence now. Uh, fail. Well, we're getting somewhere, I heard it move. No. Let's try again. Zzz. Make, uh, let's make a better connection. If I can. I know. Low voltage. Do it. It's alive! Ha ha! Oh, auxiliary hood prop necessary. Okay, I have the multiple meter out. Let's see what we got for charging voltage. Uh, nine volts. Not oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah, with the charger on here, it also tells me that it's making eight volts. So let's just go ahead and start the recharge procedure now. It's reconditioning, so it says. Uh, Begin. All right. Okay. Let us. Uh, there's that battery light we were talking about. Let us go ahead and shut this down. Uh, recharge that battery for testing. And once that battery is full and topped off, and if it passes, then I will begin testing said charging unit. Um, it's going to need an alternator. Okay. We have received authorization to replace this nader. Uh, we're not replacing the battery. They have a warranty on this battery so that's just I'm just gonna try to charge it and see if it can't come back to life a little bit but they're gonna take it to the place with the warranty and have that change hey look there's an engine in there a couple more of these clips and it will be fully revealed there it is oh gravity plastic gravity I don't know if this is a repair video or an unboxing video. You decide. This is in the way because I have to pull the fans out of this to gain access and space to remove the nader. Okay, the radiator drain is open and it is uh, dribbling out. One, your phone's ringing. There we go. Good, no spillage. All right, let's lose this overflow tank. That's kind of in the way. Uh-oh, hoses are stuck. Okay, next up I'm going to unplug the connections for the uh, cooling fans and then get the wires off of the fan shrouds. I'll then unbolt the fans and remove them from the radiator and that should give me some space to get in there to remove this alternator. Unclick. What? I'm disconnected now, there. And there's one more sneaky guy way down here. I think I can get it with ease. 
carbide. Come on. There. Okay. I think there's just two bolts that hold this uh, fan assembly in. And a clip. There it is. Hmm. Kind of a tight squeeze. No worries. I can maneuver it accordingly. There it is. Okay, now that we've got a bit of working space here, I can uh, start to disconnect this alternator and then remove it from its brackets and then we will swap it out with the new one I've already disconnected the battery so I'm not in danger of uh, electrical shorting anything there's that guy again The bracket was easier to remove than it was to remove the harness from the bracket. Okay, I'm over here trying to get a hold of the bolts for this nader and this hose is in the way. So we have more surface adhesion to defeat with the hose picks. I think that's that should be good. I think I can get it off. Wiggle, wiggle. Now the question is, did I drain enough coolant out? Or is this gonna spill? Yes. Eh, just a little bit. Maybe I can spill it over here in the tub. Yeah. There, that's good. Okay, now I can get to that bolt and there's another down there somewhere. Yep, there it is. It's, I can feel it. It's it's way down. Okay, let's untension the tensioner and slip this belt off. We'll just set that down there. Hopefully, it doesn't stray too far from its pulleys. There, you stay. You stay there. You know, I remember last time I did one of these, I struggled greatly with getting a hold of all the bolts because of this uh, coolant jacket thing right here. So I think this time I'm just gonna go ahead and pull this motor mount off and then just take that coolant assembly off of there. That, then I can reach the bolt for that idler pulley and ultimately the bolt for the, uh, the alternator. So I guess you could say I've learned my lesson. I get that one? Maybe? No, it's gonna slip. Two more. Oh, reverse click. More reverse click. Yeah, I need to get this part of this engine mount bracket off, and then I can get to the bolt for this water jacket or a thermostat housing. Then I can get the bolt out to remove one of the idler pulleys. Then I can get the bolt out that holds the alternator in. Additional reverse click. Oh, that one didn't do it. Flashlight gravity. All right, so this little bracket here is, it's coming loose. Um, this is a lot of close quarter combat and it's gonna take about 20 minutes to get this out. So I'm just gonna pause for a moment and I will resume uh, recording and film docutating uh, once I get this bracket out because there's really nothing to see here for you guys. So I'll be right back in one nanosecond. I think that's the last one, almost. Nope, <clears throat> two studs right here. I'll just pull those out with the E-Torx. Mm. 
Uh, you. I don't care, it's out of the way now. Now I can see the nut that's behind this uh, water jacket. So I can get a socket on it to remove that nut. Reverse click. Now, as long as I don't drop that nut, I'll be in good shape. Ooh, I need a magnet socket. Yeah, magnetic sockets are great for applications such as these. This is my coveted 10 millimeter magnet socket, so I, I very rarely use it. I don't want it to run away. There it is. I'm out. Oh, I almost dropped it. Not cool. One more reverse click. And this housing should be loosey goosey. Yeah, good. And let the rest of the coolant ride. Let's see if we can't put a thermostat in this while I'm here. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, that pulley's in the way. The one that I took all this off so I could get to the bolt for the pulley. That's, it's my first day. Well, at least I can see the pulley now. Reverse click. Or not, no, no clicks. So a two-handed operation. Wow. All right, there's the pulley stud, there's the pulley. Let's put all this back in order so I don't lose it. Now, can I see? Sure can. Yeah, that's the bolt that I couldn't get to because the pulley is in the way, but I couldn't get the pulley off because I couldn't see the bolt because the water deck was in the way that I had to remove so I could see the bolt so I could remove the pulley so I could remove the water deck. That's that's actually what just happened here. Now this down here is the hardest bolt to get so I'm gonna get this one first. Unclick. I wonder if I can fit a ratchet down there. The electrode powered ratchet. This is why I have these in long shank and short shank. Got it. And there's one more at the top, and I think there's one on the back. That will be determined in a moment. Yes, there is a bracket and a couple bolts on this alternator. They're way back there. I, I got the uh, the wrench on it. It's coming loose. Very, very tough to see. I had to use a mirror. All right, let's dig this thing out. A little bit of pry bar action should handle the task. Snap. Wow, I might be in pessimist mode today. I wonder who's crapped in my cereal. Yeah, I feel like I'm in a bad mood today. Hmm, maybe I'm grumpy and sleepy. I don't know. There's no specific reason, I just kind of feel a little grumpy. Um, need to get this bracket off. Let's try disconnecting it. You learning how to do skid steer tires? Uh, you want to be a GS? You're hired. I am whatever you say I am. If I wasn't, then why would I say? Why are you not coming out? It's loosey goosey. 
Hmm. All right, I, I think I've maneuvered this enough to get her to come out. I think, I hope. Fingers and toes and eyes are crossed. Okay, I'm past the harness. This is good. Ooh. Oh, you're gonna fit. No, you're not. Yes, you are. Oh, yes. Oh, by the hair on my chinny chin chin. Got it. Okay, I've got my new nading unit right here. And comparing to the old one, looks like the connectors are the same. That's the same, that's the same. Everything looks the same. I need to transfer this bracket over and then we can put the new unit into its home. Reverse click. Don't need this anymore. All done. Okay, let's move back down here and we will nuzzle this new nader into its home. And of course the challenge will be to do this without uh, gouging holes in the radiator. Because that would be bad. The uh, trouble is I've kind of forgot the orientation that this thing came out in at. Uh, never mind. It's going in. That always happens to me. Things come apart, difficult, and then they go back together much easier. And I spoke too soon. Yeah, I did. Okay, what are we doing here? Muscle fatigue is setting in. Protect the radiator at all costs. That is the mission. Don't even look at it. Uh, let's try this again. Ooh, I almost dropped it. Sound is so unnerving. Screech. All right, what are we stuck on? This thing's killing my back today. Stuck on that bracket there. Oh yes, that's what we want. Okay, I'll do this uh, big top bolt right here. This will help to locate the part. Yeah, that goes there. I think. Yeah. Okay. Reach around to the front and get this little lower top bottom bolt in. And then once I snug that up, I'll get that bracket bolt in that runs in the back underneath the exhaust manifold. Alright, that's two. One more. And just to get eyes on that stud where the bracket goes, it looks like it's in position the stud is through the hole in the bracket uh, I hope you guys can see right there in the mirror if not take my word for it yeah the hard part is gonna be to get that on because I have a, a dipstick tube in my way oh my fingies can barely reach but I got it oh this is starting to make me happy I'm winning move around to this side and start tightening down some fasteners. Need more illumination. Oh, wrong way. Cut. Ah, that squeaky sound is back. for manual clicks.
Okay. One more second click. Okay, we got that one other goofy little mount back there. I can't see it. I know it's there. I'm trying to feel for it again. I think it's I think it's right here. Yeah, that feels it feels like it's it. Let's keep twisting this till it stops. Yeah, that was it. Ran out of threads. Cool. Let's give that a click. And this is fully mounted and secured. All right. Now for those plugs that I disconnected. That's the pressure sensor for the AC compressor. There's a clip for the harness. And then the clutch wires. Hard to see. There it is. Click. Oh, tell me you're gonna fit. What? what okay. Oh, that was gonna upset me greatly. Oh, gravity, you got me. I see it. What are you? What are you doing? There. Okay. Uh, I need a magnet on a stick. Flawless retrieval. I hear a bad power steering pump in the parking lot. These are super sketchy because if you over tighten them, they twist the stud and then break the plastic and then it breaks off from inside of the nader and then your nader's ruined. There. Okay, so while it's here, I'm gonna put a new thermostat in it. Or while I'm here. Because why put it back together when ah, I can't even get it apart? Fry bar. Come out. Yeah, we'll give it some twisty action here. Got it. Okay, new thermostat is going in. Maybe thermostat click. And I want to get uh, the idler pulley on because I'm reaching the point where things are getting difficult to reach. I've said reach too many times. Access, getting difficult to access. There we go. That's the, the burbage I was seeking. Do, 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 do. All right, that's nice and centered like. Whoa! That's what I get for using the wrong side of the wrench. One more click. Just a wee bit more, a couple more degrees here. I just shot myself in the foot. <sighs> I've gotta put the thermostat housing on first. All right, so I'm not one to be easily defeated, especially by my own ignorance. And uh, I'm just gonna try really hard to maneuver this thing in here. I, I think I can do it, I think. And I'm gonna try, because I don't want to, uh, I don't wanna take this back apart again. Oh, did you see? Oh, I think I, oh, if I could just get that other stud on, this would be a, a victory. Um, not a chance. No, no, that's, I've got, I got one stud in, but it's, the other one's not going to go. Unless. Yeah, not a chance. I'm going to have to take this pulley back off. Epic fail. Or perhaps I'll try to leave the belt there and just maneuver this pulley. Because realigning that belt is going to be a bear. 
Let's try that. And T stat, you go back in. I don't know why I took you out again. Decision. There. supposed to put this pulley on when I don't even know how oh, yeah. frustration is building what a bunch of silliness It's like, it's almost there. And I lost it. I can't see it and I can't feel it. Ooh, 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 I think I got it. I think, yes, yes I do. So at this point I have come to conclude that whether I take this apart or not to service these alternators in this particular engine, uh, it's just as difficult. So there is no easier way to do this. Remove engine. Okay, this is the very hard to reach one. You can kind of see the stud. All right, it started. Don't fall. It shouldn't. That socket is magnetized. Installation click time. There we go. About 100 foot pounds. Click. Oh, my socket is stuck. This is why I don't use this magnet socket. It has adhered itself. And there's that other little bolt right there. Come on. Uh-oh, my shaft is too long. Can't get the angle proper. Okay, trying again. There it is. Nope. There we go, good, okay. Okay, just like the removal process, I'm gonna go ahead and skip past the reinstallation of this engine mount bracket thing right here, because this is gonna take another 15 minutes to finagle these fasteners in and out, so I'll be back in just a second. Super tight. Click. Yes, sir. Yes, on Lexus's. Lex I. What do you guys think? Is it is it Lexus's or would the proper way to say it be Lex I? I'm of the opinion that Lex I is better, for, uh, referring to multiple units. Because Lexus is just doesn't sound it just doesn't sound good. I think Lex I is best. Flex eye kind of sounds sexy. Click. Click again. 
Another. That one's good. That one's good. Uh, another one. Can't see it. I can feel it. This one's not as good, but could go for a couple more foot poundages. Verifying that I did not miss any. That's good. Good. Good, good. Okay, yep, no holes. We're good here. These are just studs so they don't have to be tightened. Just bottomed out. Well, that was a real peach, but it's over with now. Motor mount time. Ow, I scraped my thingy. I must not neglect this bracket thing right here. Uh, one bolt, two nuts. And three clicks. Give it back. All right, the end is in sight. Let's see, I've got a radiator hose to put on and then I can drop in my fans and we're good. Hose click. And the clamp fell way down. It's still on the hose, but it, it has fallen. Let's put it back where it goes. Come on, you. There we go. And snap goes the hose clamp. All right, cooling fan time. You think I, you think I care? You, I don't care if you're talking about me or not. Everybody else does. Blame everything on me. Well, that's fine. Uh-oh. My uh, ligament uh, notches are not lined up. What, what is this? What have I done here? Um, maybe if I... Yes, sir. What? What? Not really. No, dude, the is what it is, people. That's a whole different breed. You know why? Because, no. Because when they're the is what it is, people, you can't get to them because they really don't care. That's because you're, that's because your uh, you're radio's loud and I can't hear you hear me. Stop trying to make me care. I'm about to care. God, you guys are pushing the buttons. You're, you're right, I actually do care. I'm, I'm very sensitive. You're right. Um, I care that this radiator fan's not going in. Like it came out, so uh, I know it goes in. Let's try, let's take it back out and try to shove it back in. Uh, oh, what are we stuck on? I don't know. Ooh, got somewhere with that. Well, we're closer. Just need to kind of slide it over. A, a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Do, 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 do. That was it. That's what I was looking for. All right, let's plug in the plugs. Do, 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 do. Click. Let's see. There's a there's a harness connector. There's a harness connector. You can't see this last one, but I just made it click, so you know it's good. Let's get the hose on. clamp which is not clamped yet but it will be and I think I was blinding you dudes with the flashlight so 
sorry. Yeah, and ladies. Uh, let's see, we have a fashioner that goes in here. And again, you can't see, I'm a terrible cameraman. Not doing a good job. I don't care. That's not even the right bolt. That one goes somewhere else. That's for the, I know what that was for. That one was for the, uh, what you call it, the coolant tank. This one goes here. And its counterpart goes over here on the other side. Like right there, that's where it goes. Got it. Need to get this uh, clamp sprung in position too. Booyah. Okay, this bottle sits down in some rubber grommets and then uh, it bolts on if I can get it lined up, which I can, yes. Got my piece of hose. And there's little tabs on the fans that also hold the hose. So I had a thought earlier. Um, the battery was discharged when I decided that this alternator was not charging. And I can see it coming. You guys are going to get mad at me because you're going to say that an alternator will not charge a dead battery. So what I'm going to do is, uh, is start this car with a jump pack and I'm going to immediately remove it, then we're gonna voltmeter it and we're gonna see charging voltage at the dead battery. Thus proving that the alternator indeed was not charging. Click. Okay, let's get out of here and put the intake, intake ducting back. I think it goes, that one goes down there. Yes. I wonder if I should have done this before I put the uh, overflow bottle in. Now nah, it's gonna go. There it is. Got it. And uh, one fastener for you. Not that one. This one. Click. These hoses were glued on once. It's kind of weird. I don't think I've seen that before. There we go. And I got two more 10 mils to hold this intake on. There's one and there's two. Begin lining up now. Okay, let's do the proving of the repair. Battery back on. Let me tighten it real quick. Ratchet cam. All right, here we go. So I got a decent amount of coolant poured in there. I skipped over the entire pouring things process for the sake of time. Um, throw the jump box back on this. We're gonna start it and meter it. Beep, I know, you're low on battery, powering on. Okay, stand by for starting the engine. Well, at least I proved the battery's still dead. We'll just wiggle that some for a more better -er connection. Let's try again. Okay, meter, jump box is powered off, disconnected. Oh, don't, don't do that. Can you see? You can see. Uh-oh. I 
really put that cap back on. All right, there we go. Coming up, 12, 13, 13, 5. 13, 6, 14, it's charging, and we will head back into the cabin to witness the no battery charging system warning indicator. Yep not on i hope you find that to be sufficient proof that the nader was not functioning as designed meaning it was not functioning at all if you didn't find that to be sufficient proof um i can't help you there's really nothing i can do about it but uh that's what i did today job is complete like i said they're going to take that battery uh to the battery place that they bought it from and see if they will warranty it uh i tried to get it to take a charge uh from the charger it wouldn't even start charging uh, I tricked it with a jump box and it got the charger to start putting amperage into it and it gave up after about 10 or 15 minutes and said uh, error or whatever, something like that, some kind of message on the machine. So I'm going to try to not make this video two different videos, uh, therefore I'm going to skip over the part or skip the recording of the part of putting back the covers topping off the coolant in the overflow bottle and rinsing everything off under the hood there. So at this point, I'd like to thank all you guys and ladies for watching this video. And I wanna let you know that I certainly do appreciate it that you made it all the way here to the end. Since you made it all the way to the end, I'm going to assume that you like this video. And I would ask of you that if you did like this video to please scroll down and tappy tap that thumbs up button down below. That is what lets me and YouTube know that I'm doing a good job here. Again, and as always, Thank you guys for watching, and most importantly, before I go, I need to remind you to not forget to have yourselves a great day. See you guys later.